This AI can edit videos for you, kind of. The application is called WiseCut, and in the vein of all the other AI programs out there that do something really cool, they do it really cool for a price. And I'm willing to pay that price so you don't have to, so I can show you what it can do before you make a decision. WiseCut's sole purpose is to eat up clips and to spit out masterpieces so you can focus on not creating content and focus more on not creating content. And there is a free tier to this application. If I uh, pop over here to this screen, we can see pricing here. So for free, what you're getting is 30 minutes edited a month, 720p max, a two gig storage, max file length of 30 minutes, max file size of two gigs. And sadly, it's watermarked. However, on the free track, it does do auto cut silences, smart background music, AI storyboarding, auto subtitles, transcription, YouTube integration, uh, AI powered audio, ducking, whatever that means, limited time premium features, that's about it. So I decided to pick up the $15 subscription tier so we could check this out today. And for that $15 a month, 10 if you pay annually, I get eight hours a month of, actually I get four because I'm doing monthly, I'm stupid. I get four hours a month of editing time. I can do 1080p max, 70 gigs of storage, 60 minute files, uh, and three gigs as a maximum file size. Now included in the that $15 a month, I get everything in free, plus subtitles, uh, auto translation, facial recognition, audio, punch in, studio voice, background noise, canceling sound waves for audio files, facial recognition aspects, ratio conversion, uh, landscapes, vertical squares, all that jazz. We don't care what that means. We wanna see how it works, right? So the process is super easy. Pay money, upload a clip, profit. Well, kinda. Like all AI out there, it can get a little wonky sometimes. For example, this thing does an amazing job at jump cuts, but it does not recognize retakes. So if you have to say something you mess up and then you say it again, it doesn't recognize that and will leave it in the video. I think you can manually take that out, but what I'm trying to say is that some extra video editing might be required. So you're not completely off the hook yet. I'll also point out that the audio processing that it does for the voice is pretty booty cheeks, if I'm being honest. But I am super picky about the audio quality of my microphones. This thing jump cuts, it punch zooms in and out, and you can even add music to your video that it will mix in and master as well to make it sound good. I mean, it's good. It's good. It'll subtitle the video, all of that in minutes. And at the end of it all, it spits out a video that you can download and upload right to YouTube. If you haven't guessed it by now, this video was entirely edited by this AI. I wrote the script and recorded the video and then I just uploaded it to this application and it spit out this as a final product. And I think it should let me make some changes after the fact, but it's still pretty fantastic. So I'm downloading the file and I'm uploading this directly to YouTube without any extra editing from my programs or apps that edit videos. So let me know in the comments down below if you spot any potential mistakes that this thing has made. And while you're down there, consider leaving a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you know when my new videos go live. We have a long way to go to get to Skynet, and AI can still be pretty dumb in some aspects. But there are a ton of cool AI tools out there that just do some awesome stuff. It's making the lives of creating content or content creators, it's making their lives easier. And most of them can be tried for free. So that's pretty cool. I don't think this is a replacement for human editing, but you can take what it spits out and edit it further within your video editing programs and apps. Keep in mind that when you're downloading this and uploading it back into Adobe Premiere and you're, so you're rendering the file, uploading it back into your video editing program, rendering it again to upload it to YouTube, there is gonna be a quality loss there, I would assume anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like, I'm like 90% the way there. Imagine it would, I imagine it would. It, this is just another example of how AI makes our lives easier. So do you wanna see how it works? Let's pop back over to the machine and let's, uh, let's see how it works. So we come over here, we create a new project and we hit add media. Now we're going to grab a video file. I'm just gonna drag it over. It's going to determine the total size, the time. I'm gonna click upload one file. It's gonna come in here and it's gonna do all of this stuff. It's 
going to process and do everything. And it's gonna give me a bunch of options as soon as it's done. And before we hit next here, I'm just gonna open this video file so you can kind of see. So it is an unedited I idea. And I video. Don't know. I'm gonna move this forward here. Video There's gonna be pauses days. in time, things and I like to that. See at the end of the month, if there was a difference. It's three minutes in some so odd seconds in. long. About maybe one. We're gonna close that out. Now we're gonna hit next up here. Project name, I'm just gonna call it test, because why not? Language of the video is English. We want it to do smooth cuts. We want to auto cut silences, smart background music, auto ducking, whatever that is. Background noise cancellation, don't really care about. Burned in captions, if you want to have uh, text on the bottom of your screen, you could do that as well. I'm not gonna do that for this. We're gonna create the project. So now WiseCut is gonna take this and they're gonna do their thing and they'll email you <laughs> when it's done. You can even go back to your My Project page and you can see what percentage they're at while it's working. 60% done right now. Okay, so I got my email notification. Now I know that the project is done editing. We can come back over here. We can see, we can click on it here. And now we can make our decisions on what we want it to do. So if we click on the project now, we can come in here and we can see exactly what it did. So it removed 56 seconds of awkward silence. Crazy. 24 jump cuts created. 124 lines of subtitles created, music added that fits perfectly to my video, audio enhanced. Again, I don't really like the enhanced audio and what it sounds like, uh, but then it does smart close-ups created with auto punch-ins. Now, if I wanted to just roulette it, I could just preview and export it. But then you could also go in and edit, and it will tell you what it removed. So it removed this first awkward silence, and then it uh, gives you this guy right here. All the transcripts are here. Shows you all of these clips were removed. So that's all the silence and everything. Um, and then after that, you can come up here and I can go to translations and I can translate that, there are those subtitles into other languages. I can then choose which music I wanna put in there. So I can preview these and then I can hit a check mark and after it's done rendering and processing, it will put all of that into it. For settings, I can have it send me notifications about this project. I can uh, do smart background music, burned in captions, auto punch in and auto cuts and auto uh, stuff like that. Uh, you can change the settings on that. Footage audio, I can choose to mute or change the volume of. And then you can do enhancers, which you can even turn that off and then run the audio through a audio processing application of your own to make it sound better so this is the result of that if i pull it well, up here i had this idea and i don't know what if it it's going to work out or it'll what's jump cut. happen it'll zoom but i decided that i it wanted to music try to, to use the background the gpt bot that we talked about in a few videos back the problem is this ago, was made with the free version up. before we did I this video to see if i could use it has AI wise for 30 logo. days but as you can see videos it did punch in there see if there was a different sway in reception views out things like that now, unfortunately, this AI cannot create thumbnails for me. That's a skill I not have many to master. That is a skill I have right? to master. YouTube is hard. It's a pretty slick little tool. And as I mentioned, you can go over to wisecut.video and you can check it out for yourself for free right now. And if you want to give it a shot, it's $15 a month if you pay monthly, $10 a month if you pay annually. So $120. Bucks. Is that worth it? I don't know. This video was edited entirely with it when you watch it. Uh, and I'm going to go into the edit, edit settings and, and change what I need to, but uh, I'm not going to bring it into Premiere or anything like that. I'm just going to let the AI run with it and do what it does, and uh, that's going to be the final product. So again, let me know in the comments down below if you spot anything that I made a mistake on. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.